Yeah, I plan on wearing the Santa hat for this review because Deadpool's wearing a Santa hat in the poster, but he doesn't actually wear it in the movie, so it's kind of out of context, whatever. I'm a man with a plan, maximum effort. Once upon a Deadpool. So Once Upon a Deadpool is essentially a PG-13 cut of Deadpool 2. This is not Deadpool 3. There's actually someone in the screening who was like, this isn't Deadpool 3? No, it's, it's Deadpool 2. Again, allowing me to do the easiest review I've ever done in my life. I've already reviewed Deadpool 2. I'll put a link below to my Deadpool 2 review. And I will put another link below to my Deadpool 2 spoiler video, where we try to crack the timeline, but fail. Damn timeline. But narratively speaking, Deadpool has kidnapped Fred Savage, so he's reading Deadpool 2 to Fred Savage and is bouncing back and forth between that bedroom and the story of Deadpool 2, the movie of Deadpool 2. If you've seen The Princess Bride, you get the concept. If you haven't, what? And when I first heard about this, I thought that could be really hilarious. There are hilarious parts in it. All the stuff with Fred Savage and Deadpool in that bedroom, all funny. But really, that's it. Those are the reshoots we heard about. That's the new content. Everything else is a rated PG-13 version of Deadpool 2. Not just that, but an edited for television version of Deadpool 2. When Deadpool 2 comes out on primetime television, it will be indistinguishable from Once Upon a Deadpool. Save for the Fred Savage stuff. And if that sounds like Deadpool 2's the better version of this movie, it's because it is. Why does this movie exist in the corporate world? Money! Seriously, other than Deadpool reading the book to Fred Savage when it's showing the movie that you know, there's nothing new in there. It's what you've seen before, just not as good. It lacks the grit. Even the editing, you can tell when the audio cuts. Maybe it's because I just watched Deadpool 2 last week, but if you don't hear the audio cut or the voiceover, you see it. There are scenes when people are talking, you're like, that's not what you said. Because not all the edits flow. You can tell this wasn't filmed to be PG-13. We've all seen that in movies. That movie that's PG-13, but when you're watching it, you're like, this is totally filmed to be rated R, but they've cut things out. It doesn't feel natural. And no, it's not in that, ooh, it's supposed to be that way because it's meta. It's in that edited for television feeling kind of way. Like, let's make more money off this movie but put as little effort as possible into doing it. I feel like this movie either exists to show, hey, PG-13 Deadpool can work. Maybe he'll be in the MCU. Maybe, I don't know. Or it exists so Mormons can finally see Deadpool. And I'm talking Mormons who actually obey the rules. I know you don't watch my videos because if you're a Mormon who obeys the rules, then fuck, 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 fuck. This is now a rated R video. What are you watching right now for shame? I will see you in the Telestial Kingdom. So parents, if you have little kids and they want to see Deadpool, Maybe not this one. It's still a bit gritty for little kids. Teenagers, sure. You can take your teenagers to go see Deadpool 2 finally, so you can naively believe that this is the first time they've seen it. Like they didn't sneak into it before. They totally one really good thing is back is that song, you know the song, when Wade Wilson's in heaven with Vanessa or mental heaven, whatever it was, or the celestial kingdom, as you call it. In the theatrical version, it played this awesome acoustic version of Take On Me. Then in the extended Blu-ray, it's a totally different song. I was watching it, I wept, not because the scene is sad, which it is, but I was just, I was just sad, where'd the song go? Why did it go away? I thought it was a licensing thing. But in Once Upon a Deadpool, the Take On Me song is back, so I was happy about that. Still. Pissed that my version doesn't have it. But in the end, this movie is just a cash grab. If you've seen or have Deadpool 2 on Blu-ray, you have the better version of Deadpool 2 than this. This would have been a great companion piece for the Deadpool 2 Blu-ray. Like if you get the Deadpool 2 Blu-ray and there's this other disc in there that's this version of Deadpool 2, that'd be kind of fun. But a theatrical release, I just don't see why. Money. I'm not gonna give this a rating any more than I would give a movie that I've reviewed and rated a new rating when I saw it edited for television on primetime TV. Those are my thoughts. It's a cash grab. The Fred Savage stuff is funny, but as a whole, stick to Deadpool 2 that you already have. All right, so Once Upon a Deadpool, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.